All right, guys. So my original video, uh, for some reason, did not record my voice. Um, so I'm going to try to do this uh, as best I can um, after the fact. Um, this is going to be, I think, video 3.5. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to call this part 4. I think I'll just stick with 3.5. Um, just because I'm going to show you guys just a few updates on what I did since uh, part 3. Um, if you guys saw part 1 and part 2, um, you'll notice you know, subtle changes like uh, the garbage, which was an actual suggestion. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I did was <clears throat> I found these uh, body bags on the Unity Acid store. And uh, I thought that was just a cool touch. Um, and then I added... Um, some body bags on tables, which is another cool thing they have. Um, interactable notes, which I do have a video on as well, so I will link that in the description, but I will go over how I made this one for you guys. Um, and uh, some zombie characters. Um, there is a gore pack on the Unity Asset Store, that's like 50 bucks, so I didn't want to do that. I just had a zombie that was already in my asset collection, and uh, I just thought I'd, I would add that in there. Um, I would rather have dead bodies, but you know, dead zombie bodies cool too. Um, and then to get him to look like he was sitting down, you can just go into his uh, body parts there, and you can rotate them, and you know, just mess with it until it looks like he's sitting down. <clears throat> um, because they do come in a T pose. Um, and then these bullet holes actually come with the horror FPS kit, so you can just drag and drop them on walls, move them around where you want. Um, I did show you guys how to use quads. And you can add some uh, some blood material to the quads. Um, in part three, I, I think that was part one actually. I showed you guys how to do all this, so feel free to check that out. And um, the other thing I will show you guys how I did in this video is do the monitor, computer to monitor, which is actually just another quad, uh, which is fairly easy to set up. Um, there might be a better way to do it, but you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. And I will go over how to make that computer monitor and how to make this interactable note. Um, just briefly, um, I'll go into detail, but I won't go into super detail because I do have another video on how I did that. Uh, but like I said, this is just going to be part 3.5 because there's not a whole lot I've added since part 3. Um, but, uh, you know, this note is cool. It's going to be something that will help guide the player to find valuable items. So in order to do this, what you guys want to do is click on the note, uh, click on the material there, um, and then go to your base map on that material. And when you click on your base map, you'll find the actual picture that is used. So you want to go to your uh, file explorer, so you can open that up in like a photo editing app like Facebook, uh, sorry, Facebook, Photoshop or whatever you guys use. I use Photoshop, it's just a little bit better. So go ahead and open that up in Photoshop. All right, once that's open, you guys will see something like this. This was one I already made, but um, yours will look like the one that came with the asset. Um, left page, page is the front, right page is the back there. So what I did is I just found this wrinkled paper off Google uh, Images, and I just found this cool font um, as well. Um, I believe the font is called Maniac. Yeah, Maniac. Um, it's cool. It's got a bunch of, uh, you know, different... Uh, like lines and scribbles and stuff and it makes it look like a kind of a zombie survival a zombie survivor I guess wrote it in a hurry you know um, which I thought was really cool um, so you guys can mess around with that I do have a whole video on how to do this so you know feel free to check that out um, I will link that in the description if you guys want to get better detail but basically what you do is you save that when you're done um, save it somewhere you can find it um, I chose the uh, horror FPS kit folder I just saved it saved in the material section and then you basically just drag and drop that picture um, onto so you click on your uh, material there uh, onto your base map so you take that picture you made and I'm locking the inspector just to make it a little bit easier there so I'm gonna go back to the picture I just made and just saved and you are literally just gonna drag and drop it onto the base map and it'll update with whatever is on that base map there. Um, another cool thing about the pictures is that you can type out what they say, which is, or the notes, I should say, not the pictures. Um, so if your player picks them up and reads them, um, if the text or font is a little bit too hard to read, they can, you know, actually read it. 
Um, it'll pop up on the screen, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Like I said, that's in my other video as well. Uh, but what I do is I just type it out exactly how it shows on the paper just to make it look a little bit more professional there. Uh, to do the uh, monitor, I just took a quad, uh, which is under Game Object 3D Object Quad, and I just kind of rotated it, scaled it, and lined it up so it's right on the face of that monitor. And I literally did the same thing. Um, and one extra step is you have to create a new material from scratch since we didn't have one. Um, and then on that new material, you're going to take your PNG image. I just found that one off Google, which was, which I just scaled in Photoshop there. Uh, save that, and you drag and drop that PNG right onto the base map. Um, so you take your quad, create a new material, drag that new material onto the quad, and then on the base map of that new material, you drag your image. Um, and to make it a little bit brighter, I added a point light, as you can see. It kind of makes the monitor look like it's emiss like emissive a little bit, like a real computer screen. Um, without the light, it was just a little bit too dark. Um, so I just went ahead and added a point light in there just to make it look like the screen was actually glowing a little bit. Um, the last thing I did was I added this little <laughs> dead body guy hanging from the ceiling. It's kind of giving the zombie something to stare at and distract him a little bit. That was on the acid store as well. Um, I will link that in there. Um, I believe these are all, most of these are all paid assets, you guys, so like I said, this is more of a triple A game, game as much as I can make one, so these assets will cost some money there. But let me show you guys just a little bit of how this note works, and uh, we'll call it quits on this video right after that. So right now I'm just dragging my player into position here. And when we go up to our notes, what we can actually do is we can examine it, pick it up, and when we read it, this is what I was talking about, it'll pop up on the screen there, and your player can actually read the note out, which is pretty cool. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for video 3.5. Um, I'm going to try to do one of these per week, uh, at least one video a week, um, I'll try my best. Uh, to get some content out for you guys and hopefully we can get a whole game here and something that actually has a good story and uh, uses a lot of the elements from the horror FPS kit um, part 4 should have a lot more stuff in it this was just kind of an update to show you guys that I've been working on it and just adding a few things here and there when I have time to do so alright you guys so feel free to give me a like and subscribe that would help me out a lot and uh, share this with your friends we'll get a whole game going and I will see you in the next video. Peace.